am Shane Kishima, class of 2026, and this is not just my story, but the story of a place that touches the hearts and minds of thousands a year. St. Norbert's Catholic Church was founded in April of 1963 by Father George Cass and is located in Orange, California. Its Christian service food distribution helps the poor every weekend by collecting, making, and passing out food. Every Saturday at 8, we sign in and start setting things up. Tables are taken out and a truck arrives with fresh produce. At 9 o'clock, we line up at the tables to make an assembly line for paper bags filled with rice, beans, spaghetti, canned foods, and other goods. Then we make plastic bags filled with the produce from the truck. At around 10 o'clock, we place all the bags on tables, as well as milk, eggs, bread, and kids' bags, and say a prayer. We put on safety vests as a line of cars starts winding around the parking lot. A supervisor will shout out how many families and kids per car, and we will grab the corresponding amount of bags and food and deliver them to the car. We do this till the cars or food run out at around 12, then pack up and close down. Hi, I'm Shane Kishima, and I'm here. Today I'm here with Michelle Navarro, and she's the head of the St. Norbert's Food Distribution Program. So thank you for being here today. Thank you. Um, do you know how long this organization has been around? Yes. Yeah, so St. Norbert has been serving for over 30 years. Been serving the community. Uh, do you know how many people St. Norbert's um, helps each year? Yes. Yeah, so last year we served about uh, 30,000 people. Wow. Um, so how here? How do people like help? Uh, distribute food to the poor. Yeah, so we have people that come early to help set up to get all the tables ready, and then we make paper bags that are filled with non perishables, produce bags um, with produce that we purchase, and then we have rice and uh, I'm sorry, eggs and milk, and we also make kitty bags. So we serve, we give those to all the, the young people that come through. That's great. Um, so, if, was there anything like really well that I did to help? Yeah, I really like how. Um, I know you've been here multiple times and that is such a, a value here when the kids come and the, excuse me, the young adults come multiple times because they know what to do and that really helps us because there are very few adults that are here and it's mainly run by people your age that are following the directions, know what needs to be done and they're just taking initiative. We really appreciate that. Now, if there was anything that I could have done, was there anything I could have done better? Well, not you in general, but just the teenagers in general to be off their phones, because that is really hard to be monitoring that, plus all the cars that are coming through. So we're just thankful to have volunteers. We've had really good luck with the students, especially from Servite. Um, you guys are really good workers, so we appreciate that. And uh, do you think everyone watching should come over here and sign up and help? Absolutely, yes. Uh, we love the Servite boys. I'm a Servite mom. So we want you all here helping out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I have served over 40 hours at St. Norbert's. As I have worked, I learned a few small things. I realized how rewarding it feels to put something together that takes so little of your time on your own that benefits others so greatly afterwards. Every time I placed a can in a bag or walked to and from a car, I really helped someone that needed it. It makes me think about how much better the world could actually be if people stopped and looked at the bigger picture, instead of selfishly looking after themselves. By benefiting only ourselves, we drive each other apart. But by helping each other, we are woven together. By committing my service here, I have seen what a community really is, not just a bunch of individuals combined, but one collective piece that needs other parts to work together. I would highly recommend helping out at St. Norbert's and help you have as an amazing time as I have. Thank you for watching.